Hello everyone and welcome to episode 122 of the TW 2020 New Japan Pro Wrestling Series here on the channel as it is the New Japan Cup here in 2027. My god, as a uh, boy, this is what our... Yeah, be our... Oh uh, yeah, that'd be our eighth one? Maybe? Hold on. So now I've already forgotten how many we've done now. That's a uh, two, four, six, seven. Yeah, this will be our eighth one. So yeah, I was correct. Is uh, our eighth... New Japan Cup, my god. And as far as who will be joining that list of winners that we just saw, we will find out very, very shortly. As for the bracket, it looks like this. So, uh, night one, we'll be seeing Alex Coughlin versus Brody Lee, Miro versus Sonata, Roderick Strong versus Claudio Castagnoli, and Hayato Tamora versus Yota Suji. That will be the first night. For day two, we'll see Shingo Takagi and Ryu Lee. Of course, those two. I've had some tremendous matches in real life. We haven't really done it a whole lot in the save, so that's going to be fun to see. Leona Fujinami versus Katsuyuka Nakajima. Rush versus Daniel Makabe. Kenta versus Tetsuya Naito. A, uh, you know, that was, funny enough, you know, when we kind of started this, that was, um, relatively, like, kind of a, a, a thing that, uh, was a, one of the early programs of Naito's kind of second title run there during, you know, the COVID years. Was, uh, you know, him and uh, Kenta, as far as that was at the new beginning. And completely, you know, as far as changed after, you know, as far as post-COVID and whatnot. They haven't really touched since then in, like, a big marquee matchup. Uh, as far as for here in the save, we haven't done it a whole lot, obviously, because of that. But uh, it should be a fun match, though. As far as, um, you know, obviously Naito's not the same level as he was at the beginning of this. But he still should have a pretty good matchup with him. As our uh, day three... Uh, sh uh, matches as far as our uh, first round matchups here. The uh, four first round matches will be seeing Pentagon Jr. versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Fun little match there. Kanosuke Takeshita versus Eddie Kingston. Jay White versus Evil. And then Josh Alexander versus Tyler Black to round out uh, the day three first round matchups. Then for day four, the uh, final first round matchups Joe Doring versus La Sombra. Shotoro Ishino versus Ray Fenix. So that's a hell of a match. Cody Umeda versus Kota Ibushi, Battle of the Kodas, and then Will Hobbs versus the Great Okan. Pretty great first round matches uh, throughout as far as that kind of last part. Uh, I'm excited to see how Pentagon Jr. and Nakamura do, Rai Lee and, and Shingo. Roger Strong and Claudio should be a fun match, Miro and Sonata, uh, Rush and Makabe as well. There's a lot of good first round matchups. But uh, yeah, without further ado here, let's get on with it. Let's uh, waste no time here for the New Japan Cup. So, uh, as far as the uh, New Japan World, uh, backstage incidents, we got a couple of them. Satoshi Kojima, passing on microphone work to Heiano Tomura. Uh, Tomoyoshi passing on microphone work to Tomoya Tom Ford. And then Shinsuke Nakamura passing on selecting tips to Moroka Takado. So, as far as with uh, this first night, don't think we'll run Kanto for the first night. I think we'll, uh, trying to think here what we should run. If there's anything... Yeah, but say that the Athletic Stadium is about 25,000. So we can't really run there. This is the least you could have the 20,000. We can run the Green Dome. Yamada, Green Dome, and Maybashi as far as... Uh, yeah, that'll probably be for the best here for this first day. So, uh, as far as... Uh, we'll just start off with Coughlin and Brody Lee. Steal the show matchup as Brody will be beating Alex Coughlin. So he's advancing to the second round. I think a lot of people probably didn't see that one coming. As uh, they found one match, Brody beat him during the G1 a couple of years back. Obviously, Brody's not the same guy he once was, but maybe uh, we could kind of have a bit of a story of this man who is, uh, you know, he won the you know, second one we did in the save. So the 2021 winner, maybe uh, you know, as far as this is kind of his last hurrah, as far as maybe, uh, you know, as far as putting all of his strength and energy into it to be a two-time New Japan Cup winner, and this time, you know, ending out potentially his career as a heavyweight champion. This might be his last chance, and he's really putting it all on the line for it, as uh, he's going to beat Coughlin there. I'm assuming, I think Roddy and Claudio is the technical masterclass matchup, so uh, we'll add that next. So Claudio Castagnoli will beat Roderick Strong. Uh, we've, we've had a couple of singles matches between these two. Uh, one Soccer Rod Genesis matchup, 2024, which uh, Claudio won. And then Roddy uh, beat him a couple years back during the G1. They will be, uh, as far as Claudio now, will be ahead in the series. Yato Tamara beats Yotosuji here. 
25 minute matchup. They had a match when he was El Kukui in the G1 a couple of years back. Haven't had a match since then. I was a 78 then. And uh, probably our main event. Probably the best match we'll see. Miro versus Sonata of this first night. And Sonata will win. Uh, Sonata has beaten him a couple of times. Yeah, once for the Never Open title as far as retaining that belt during the Royal Quest and during the G1 as well. Uh, Miro beat him a couple of times before that, though, in 2021 at uh, the Wrestling Jutaku Night 1 show and at uh, the G1. So uh, they were at uh, you know, all tied up. Two wins apiece. So the final win, giving it to Sonata. So that is, of course, the tournament matches. Uh, we don't have any, uh, you know, didn't, we didn't pre-book any of the um, kind of opening contest stuff. Because uh, we could go a lot of different ways with this. We could have, um, I think what we're going to do is honestly just have uh, of the, basically, the Young Lion matches as far as for these next two matches. It's kind of the plan. So as far as I'm trying to think who we should have. I don't think Masahiro Hara has any chemistry with anybody, but we'll use him. Well, oh, didn't mean to hit that. Luckily, that doesn't spoil anything. Uh, yeah, we'll do him and uh, Yuratoki Suzuki. Why not? Yeah. I'm trying to think who else we could use. Has been used in a hot minute. We haven't used Shun Skywalker since January. That's kind of crazy. We'll use him for our next matchup. The Eric Steiner has been used since November. Yeah. yeah. We should be good to go. As far as with, uh... Well, I guess we could use Hiroshi Miyoshi. He hasn't been used in a while, either. Yeah, yeah, she really hasn't been used. Oh, uh, we didn't pick a team to face him off as, um... Let's see here. Definitely don't want to use Connors and Coughlin, obviously. No, not UI Rage. Yeah, we'll use the new wave. That those guys we haven't even used uh, haven't done this match before, obviously. So we'll have uh, Nakashima beat him. There we go, and uh, then we'll have Abe and Skywalker take on another young lion team. Probably more of a junior team, if we can. That'd be great. Yeah, and so Bakun Okamoto, I know he's got ki uh, chemistry with Kiyomatsu Kisai. Kiyomatsu Kisai is a little bit bigger than what I would have suspected for a junior kind of setting, but I uh, might have to use it anyways. Oh, here's a... Uh, yeah, we'll use uh, Kenji Shiga. Kyoto Michinori. Yeah. Trying to just get all the young lines we haven't used in this calendar year since it's already March. We just got so many fucking people to use. Alrighty. Then we'll have that be a Shun Skywalker win. He can beat, uh, Ichinori. It's gonna be close, though. Between who's gonna be the worst in that matchup. I feel like it's gonna be close. I could be wrong, though. Um, might be a better matchup as far as, uh, Red and the New Wave Strong Style matchup, so go ahead and swap those around. We should be good to go, though. Let's, uh, run it. So, 55 for the opener. Oiwa and Yuta Nakashima getting the win. Yeah, Hiroshi Miyoshi with a 26. Masihiro Hara with a 30. As uh, Yuta Nakashima getting the win. 10-24. Oiwa almost in the 70s with his chemistry boost. That's nice. Yeah, 65 here for Abe and Skywalker. Kenji Shiga, wow, 40. Good stuff for him. As, yeah, yeah, Kyoto Michinori loses to the Skywalker. Uh, Moonsault in 10-13. Good match, uh, actually, for kind of all, all things considered. For a young line matchup, we'll take a 65. So 77 uh, for, I just realized we've completely changed up the order. What it should have been as Tamora getting the one that just faced luck over Yotosuji. Let me just double check, make sure everything else is okay. Yeah, we're good to go. But yeah, that was a 77. Tamora uh, outperforming Yotosuji. A 77 here. It's rather strong outperform Claudio Castagnoli, but Claudio gets the one with the neutralizer. In 20 minutes, he advances to the next round. As Brody Lee beating Alex Coughlin with the Brody Bomb in 10:35. Crazy win. Obviously, Brody was going to get outperformed here. What an upset. But a big name, for sure. And uh, Brody Lee getting the win with the Brody Bomb. And our main event, 79. Sonata with the rounding body press over Miro. Getting the win and advancing to the next round. 
And, uh, of course, as far as we can just see already, uh, Yomiro and, uh, you know, Alex Coughlin not advancing to the next round, so it's Sonata and Brody Lee. And then we'll be seeing Claudio Castagnoli versus Seattle tomorrow for the second round. And now on to day two, we'll be seeing the matches there in the bottom left. And, uh, yeah, on to day two. Here we go. I'm ready, day two. So they got us at the Yokohama Arena again. We're going to change that. A lot of backstage instances. since Takano Rido gave a locker room a lift and created a free drink for, or uh, created, provided a crate of free drinks, Jesus, as, uh, for everyone. Jerome St. Pierre helped create a great atmosphere backstage when he pulled a great rib on the entire locker room and had everyone laughing afterwards. Tatsuya Naito passing on tips on psychology to Hiroshi Miyoshi and, uh, Satoshi Kojima again passing on microphone work to Hayato Tamara. So our main event, uh, you know, as far as probably Shingo and, and Ryu Lee, so Ryu Lee's going to beat Shingo here. So they have had one match in the save. Uh, yeah, well, obviously we knew how much of a, an important match it was. Of course, that, uh, boy, that uh, Best Super Junior Finals. So, pretty fucking awesome. Or, uh, no, that wasn't the finals. It was the, um... I forget what, uh... It was the finals, no, but it, it uh... I forget what day it was during the, uh... Best Super Juniors. As far as, of course, that was, uh... I want to say that was pre-him being Ryu Lee. That was, uh... Him still as Dragon Lee. It's, uh, 2018? I believe? Is that, uh... Yeah, I want to say that was 20... Oh, no, it was 2019. That's right. It's a hell of a night, though. That was, I believe... I want to say that was in Corican, from what I remember. But, uh... Yeah, it was a hell of a, hell of a match. And I uh, always enjoyed that. Even though, I guess, they didn't really have a, a rivalry, per se. But they had, like, that great match. And, obviously, that was, like, a year before the save started. And we wanted to keep it uh, relatively fresh. And having it here in the New Japan Cup is, is pretty awesome, though. As uh, he'll be getting the win. As our comment event will be Roosh versus Daniel Makabe. And Roosh will be beating Makabe. So that's a huge win. First of all, this is a big time matchup. First time meeting. Uh, two great performers. Probably will be the best match on the night, to be honest. So we'll see how that plays out. Kenta and Naito. Steal the matchup in six minutes. So kind of stealing off of kind of the idea of that Ricky Marvin Kenta match from way back when. Uh, just, you know, full on sprint. With um, Kenta kind of showing that he could still go at that speed, which is obviously kind of, I wouldn't say kind of, it is false at this point. In 2027, he wouldn't be able to run and move that fast. But still, uh, just a Busaiku knee out of just that sends him straight to hell type of thing and knocks him clean out, gets the win in a pretty shocking fashion. And then Katsuki Nakajima beating uh, Leono Fujinami, as uh, that will be a 22 match minute matchup. And I believe that's another first time meeting. Yes, as far as singles wise, so that's huge. And uh, first time they've met in a New Japan ring too, so that's kind of cool. So again, just kind of harkening back to round two, uh, Ryu Lee will be taking on Katsuki Nakajima, and then Rush will be taking on Kenta, which is going to be a, a fun match there, all cat match. So we'll see. So the left side of the bracket's done at least for the second round, and then obviously we'll go on to day three and four to see the rest of the first round matches. So as far as the tag teams uh, that we'll be using here for this undercard. Oh, uh, you know, I think, you know, with, um, what we could do, is I think we're going to use Oscar and Oleg, even though we should probably give up on them at this rate, uh, you know, as far as a young lion that's 34 and 28, not a great call, and they're not that great as far as rating-wise, though Oleg has star quality and minutes, but, so does Oscar, but yeah, the ratings itself, not great. And, you know, as far as I, I think they'd kind of be better off somewhere else. I don't know if we'll send them to CMLL or GCW or just release them outright. Something's got to happen, uh, right, you know, regarding those men. As far as what I want for this matchup. First of all, let's make it male only. There we go. That'll help us out a little bit. So, show to Yumino. Um, you know, we didn't use him. In this tournament, which was maybe a mistake. He probably could have made it. So he's someone I thought about. Um, you know, Tetsuya Endo for Blast Off, potentially. Kunamura, another guy that uh, we missed out on. As far as, yeah, we'll use uh, Kunamura and Tetsuya Endo. Why not? See how they do. 
Maybe they'll have some chemistry, you never know. These under card matches, you can kind of get away with stuff like that. Just trying to uh, see if somebody has any chemistry or whatnot. Tiki and Moore will be getting the win now. And, uh, and as I said. There we go. And uh, for the next one, we'll go with uh, Moxley and Shooter. Obviously, Moxley, New Japan Strong Overweight Champion, not involved in the tournament. As, uh, actually, let's make it a trios match. Let's add, uh, Pac to it. Since Pac's also not doing anything with him being a champion. So, as far as the, um, the Young Lions here, I think we're gonna go with... Uh, let's go with... I was thinking about using the American Young Lions... Um, but there's just so many that we haven't used as well. Like, we have Shogo Takibo, Shonen Shozaki. Uh, Takagawa we've used this year. Haven't used uh, Makachi Daka, though, so we'll use... Ah, there we go. So now we got our second Young Lion matchup. Ah, we'll give Shooter a win. We'll probably have this actually follow... That yeah, that's that makes a lot more sense. Pick our venue. Yeah, we'll run. Uh, let's say I thought there was a stadium. It's twenty eight thousand. Oh, there we go. It's twenty thousand. Nagano Olympic Memorial Arena. Perfect. We'll be damn near a sellout for day two. So sixty four for the opener. Tetsuya Endo to uh, Takuya sixty eight sixty seven. Oh, I mean Oscar at least with a forty one. But Oleg still not doing a whole lot. Unfortunately for him, it's Takuya Nomura, bending Oleg Bolton with the Dragon Suplex. Shota Yumino with the Death Rider onto Shonen Shozaki. Akichi uh, Hidaka, though, my god, uh, a 40. And he was off his game. That is actually really impressive for a young lion. The Shogo did well, too. Edge, Shonen Shozaki, not so much. But a decent little matchup. Nice win for the Task Force Death and 73 for the uh, first of the tournament matches from Day 2. Ketsu Nakajima beating Leonov Fujinami with the vertical spike. It's a 70 for Kenta and Tetsuya Naito. So even with the pretty good chemistry boost, still only a 70. Kenta with a uh, go to sleep. It probably would have been a Psycho knee, but I get it. Here's what it is. Rush and Daniel Makabe in 80. So far the best uh, New Japan Cup matchup so far is Rush pinning him with the Rush driver in 25-44. Did get outperformed. Just uh, no surprise. I, I figured Makabe would. Tough break to have Makabe lose in the first round with somebody that talented, but had to have some great matches. And then Ryu Lee comes in. Him and Shingle with a 90. What a win in 2052. Uh, 2752, I guess. I don't know why I rounded up like that, but uh, hell of a match. Hell of a match. A hell of a win. And uh, boy, it was a night. That actually went a lot better. Almost gradually got better throughout the night besides this Kenta Naito match. Not a bad not a bad show there for day two. So on to day three we go. Alrighty, yes, uh, for day three, well, of course, uh, we'll try to run somewhere that's not in Kanto. It's uh, again, so Tetsuko Jima passing on microphone work to Hayata Tomoya and the Tomori Ishii passing on microphone work to Tomoya Tom Ford. Uh, so as far as the, probably the main event's probably going to be that Josh Alexander Tyler Black matchup. I don't know, it's tough. It's Nakamura and Pentagon Jr. We might have made that the tactical masterclass matchup. We did. And Nakamura's going to beat him. Uh, this would have been pretty awesome a couple of years ago. Uh, at least, you know, even here in real life, you know, as far as, like, uh, kind of pre-2020, yeah, as far as, uh, yeah, just, you know, this, um, yeah, as far as, in a perfect world, you know, kind of prime Nakamura and prime Pentagon Jr. would have ruled so very hard, uh, but, uh, we get it here, though, nonetheless, and it's, uh, it should be a fun match. Even with, uh, as far as in this setting. So, yeah, we're going to have Alexander and Tyler Black be the main. Tyler Black's going to win. He's going to beat Josh Alexander. And uh, then uh, Jay White and Evil. As uh, Jay White will be beating Evil. 12 minutes because it's a Sailor Show matchup. And it's <laughs> it's kind of funny because obviously these two, as far as how New Japan used to obviously book Jay White and how they have been booking Evil for the most part, you, you would have like a 25, 30 minute matchup. Even longer probably between those two and 
We definitely don't want to do that with us two. We want to cut that short and sweet. And then Kanosuke Takeshi is going to be beating Eddie Kingston. So as far as the, the last batch of first round matchups will be coming up. Which, as far as to remind everybody, uh, Joe Doring versus Asombra. Shitoru Shino versus Ray Fenix. Kota Yamato versus Kota Ibushi. And then Well Ops versus the Great Okan. So uh, as far as the second round matches from this kind of side... Uh, we'll have Nakamura and Takeshita, which is crazy. And then Jay White and Tyler Black, which is a fun little match. So as far as that will be second round matchups out of this uh, side. But uh, as far as I think we're going to swap that out. Yeah. Let's have that be it. So uh, the, as far as the Young Alliance we want to have on this show, we might even... Uh, what's kind of crazy, um, I, I'll have to talk about this. Uh Where's Io Shirai's? She, uh... No, she's not unrecognizable. She's well-known. Yeah. Io Shirai. No longer there. The BGP Women's Champion. Uh, CMLL had her lose in a four-way to, uh... Emeka Arita, who is pretty solid, um... But still probably not good enough to be, like, Women's Champion. But, you know, as far as we, uh... It's kind of funny how uh, we haven't had a CMLL kind of title change since then. We were... And she just lost as a Tara... Well, on CMLL, I'm just getting crazy. Uh, you know, the plan was to, uh, as far as eventually build up to a potential Ashley Flair, Io Shirai matchup, and even, you know, Hannah Kamara, saw that kid down, in the, you know, down the line. Now, uh, as far as Emeka Arita, now that that's kind of been thrown out of the way, I feel like we gotta have it be um, Kairi Ojo and her, as far as Emeka Arita. I feel like that makes sense. And, uh, yeah, so that's um, kind of what we're gonna build towards. Uh, eventually, but for that now, we're going to have uh, Io and... Uh, actually, no, we, we won't use uh, Io and Kairi Hojo. I'm trying to think of what women we should use. Actually, let's, um, let's, have, let's use them all, because... Um, you know, Donald Del Mundo makes a lot of sense. Also, uh, the Cosmic Angels make a lot of sense. I think that's what we'll do. Use the Cosmic Angels. And uh, they'll take on... So we got... Uh, I, I thought about as far as Himawari, uh, Yanagi, and Hanakamura. Thought about that. Uh, thought about even uh, as far as maybe Sakiaki and Suzu Suzuki. Or, you know, just trying to figure out maybe another kind of women's team that we can use to help. Or even Tony Storm and Ashley Flair we can use. Or even, you know, B.B. Crawford and uh, Tony Storm. We got a lot of different ways we can go about it. I think we're going to go with... Uh, Himawari, Yunagi, and Hanakamura, just to get them on the card. Yeah, so the Cosmic Angels, they will get the win. Because they're kind of the more established team, and they need a win more than anything. And I think they'll outperform Yunagi. We'll see, though. Could be way off. So that's actually not really a Young Lions matchup. That's, that's actually a, you know, a Joshi tag match. Next one, this will be an actual Young Lion matchup. So, yeah, so we'll make it male only. Help us out a little bit. Well, we could use Marcotte. We can use Marcotte in London. I think that's what we'll do. Since we haven't used Jimmy London since October, anyways. Use them uh, to take on the team. Thought about Takanorito and Rex Steiner, but I don't. Th from what I remember, I don't think they have chemistry. I think cause we used them, or we tried to use them before. Oh, no. All right. Guess not. Um, but uh, we'll have Rex Steiner get a win. So, uh, there's Suzuki Goon. Being involved. Alrighty. Day three. In the books. Let's see, we just ran Chubu. Oh, no, we didn't run Chubu. That's right. I thought we did. Oh, no, we did. Um, it just, for some odd reason, it's not, um, you know, as far as it won't be a penalty if we run another show there. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but say, we got the um, Momotaru Arena. It'll be, you know, 11,000. Be a sellout. Might as well. Might as well here for day three. 60. Takano Ito and Rex Steiner. Hey, they have great chemistries. So that works out really, really well. Rex Steiner with the Military Press Power Slam. Uh, Jimmy London. Pretty bad. Uh, Don Marcotte, though. Not bad for a young lion. And it's a Takano Ito uh, shined in the matchup, too, with a 72. Solid stuff. 73 for the Joshi Women's Tag matchup. A couple point difference here, as Hanakamura was better than uh, everybody in the match. Tanma and uh, Yunagi did the same, so I didn't expect that, but they, uh, as far as uh, Tom Nakano getting the win over 
Mari Unagi. So at least the, the best woman on one side beat the worst woman on the other side. She wins with a spin kick, 1027. Pentagon Jr., Shinsuke Nakamura, 73s for the performances, 77 for the matchup, as the uh, fucking Bomae for Shinsuke Nakamura, 24 11. August, no, that's just the running single leg high knee strike. Never mind, it's not even the Bomae. The goddamn, uh, yeah, that's kind of crazy one with that, but all right. We'll take it. And the 80 for Jay White and Tyler Black, or Jay White and Tyler Black, Jay White and Evil. <laughs> that's the next round. Jay White uh, with the Blade Runner. 12, 25, 81 for Jay White. Actually really suited him having that Steelers show matchup. Got the ground buzzing, too. It's going to skip the catch step, beating uh, Eddie Kingston with the wall up to catch step. And so, yeah, Kingston. Pretty much his last uh, hurrah. He was an active in-ring competitor. Um, just he's, you know, he's broken down at this rate. But, you know, as far as we'll keep him around, uh, well, he'll be kind of like a manager slash, you know, as far as enforcer, maybe, role. Task Force Death, because I just... We can't have King sitting at home as uh, Tyler Black with God's Last Gift over Josh Alexander. Great matchup, great win as uh, Tyler Black going on to the next round. Now on to the last round of first round matches it's for day four. And then uh, we'll be going on to the second round for our days five and six. So uh, actually, we might have all the second round matchups on day five. Forget which day it is where we kind of have like, uh, we, we have all the matches as far as the six matches are tournament matches i believe it might be day six but it might be even day five I, I can't really remember off the top of my head we'll find out very very shortly so on the day four we go Alrighty, so yeah this is the night where we're gonna have a couple of second round matches so you see Brody, lee and sonata and claudia Castiglione only had a tomorrow those are gonna be obviously higher up on the uh on the card that'll be you know car, uh, yeah claudio and tomorrow is gonna be the main sonata and brody will probably be the co-main since those are second round matches uh, but there's going to be some great matches on here. So one of the uh, Young Lion girls, as far as uh, Midori uh, Nishimura, Moriya? Uh, uh, Mori... Yeah, I think Moriya is how you pronounce it. But uh, Midori uh, helped create a great match here backstage when she pulled a great rib on the entire locker room. Had everyone laughing afterwards. I don't know what we're going to do with the women as far as having the uh, our little pictures here. Because we've been using as far as like a uh, picture pack from uh, <laughs> from FM. So... Don't know how we're going to figure that out, uh, but we'll, we'll think of something. But uh, Kenji Shiga, Shiga, rather, is far for the rest of the court. Accused of making a mess backstage stage and not cleaning it up, annoying everyone else. So the judge is going to knock him off, found him guilty, and since to clean up in the mind after the show. Ishii passing on microphone work to Tomoya Town Ford. Show passing on psychology to Kuma Meya, and also passing on psychology to Shonen Shozaki. As, yeah, um, you know, Claudio... Tomorrow, we'll add those matches later on because I, I want to get these first round matches out of the way. First of all, this is a little match. You know, Shotori, Shino, Ray Fenix, main event anywhere in the world. Uh, unfortunately, just kind of timing having this be on the final uh, first round matches. But a short Shotori, Shino will be getting the win over Ray Fenix. Kota Bushi, Kota Omeda. Omeda will be getting the win over Bushi. So that's a huge win to beat somebody like Kota Bushi, a guy who's won this New Japan Cup before. And uh, in the first round, too, that is a massive, massive victory. Oh, uh, Will Ops, Great Okan. Will Ops getting the win over the Great Okan, a man who has uh, made it uh, pretty far in the past as far as the Great Okan, now taking on somebody like Will Ops, who was in the finals of the G1 last year, now looking to potentially win this G1, or if I said G1, win this New Japan Cup and be the second Dark Order person to win the G1, or did it again? The second person to win the New Japan Cup following Brody Lee, or his leader who will be. Of course, later on uh, tonight, as uh, Joe Doring in La Sombra, as Sombra will be getting the win in 10 minutes. So what a victory there over Joe Doring. So, with those matches, which uh, we'll probably have to have a technical masterclass matchup now, as far as I was just thinking about that. I don't know if we're, we're going to have it be this. So, I, I know Ibushi can work kind of technical masterclass style. Not really Yumeida, unfortunately. So, I don't know if we'll do that. Uh, you know, Hobbs and Okan, you know, Okan kind of, you know, is more technically sound than Hobbs is, obviously, but maybe Hobbs will be able, and it's a better, it'd be kind of weird to have those two have a technical mask class matchup, but, uh, it'd be pretty fun, though, at the same time. Ashino and Ray Phoenix might even be our best bet, because I know, obviously, Ashino's great in technical wrestling, and, and you know, Ray Phoenix is pretty good, too, mainly because it's not going to be the main, I think we'll have that open up the show, so, uh, we'll go with that, swap, um, Let's see, we'll swap this, 
swap that. And there we go. Alrighty, so uh, for the second round matches, see Brody Lee and Sonata and Claudio Castagnoli, of course, happening tonight. And then on the next night, we'll be seeing Ryu Lee, Katsuki Nakajima, Rush vs. Kenta, Shinsuke Nakamura vs. Kanosuke Takeshita, Jay White vs. Tyler Black, and uh, then also La Sombra and Shotoro Shino and Kodu Yumeida and Will Hobbs. So uh, for them, as far as for the guys from day four, they kind of have a bit of a disadvantage having to work kind of back to back nights, but. It uh, will open them up as far as being able to, uh, hopefully, once day six, as far as once we uh, get into that, potentially we'll be able to at least give them a little bit of breathing room before they get into day seven. But that is where we're at. So, and again, you know, as far as adding these matches, Brody Lee, Sonata. Sonata will be beating Brody Lee. We're going to give him 20 minutes. So, you know, as far as maybe seeing the potential magic, some big hopes pops for, for Brody. You know, big discus lariat. I thought maybe oh, this is going to be it. He's going to beat Sonata. He, he's back on top. Sonata kicks out and eventually he gets the win. So the fire gets put out, but he a uh, valiant effort nonetheless. Then hey, on tomorrow, in Claudio Castagnoli uh, will be the main event, unfortunately. Because, man, I I already know Ashino and Ray Fenix is going to do better than that matchup. Just got a feeling. I think we're going to run. I thought about running Osaka for this night, but I don't think that's a good call. I think we gotta run somewhere else. As far as, uh, is there a 20, you know, 25,000 seater? The Athletic Stadium there. We got a 10,000 General Gymnasium. And 15,000 at the Marine Mies. Yeah, I think that, that might be for the best, because we'll sell it out. We won't sell it, obviously, the, uh, stadium. Be, uh, almost a sellout, but not quite. Alrighty, day four. Yeah, an 86 for the opener. Got to show off a strong start here. The T-Bone Suplex from Shatora Shino. Advancing to the next round. As uh, then we'll have Joe Doing and La Sombra. Sombra beating Joe Doing. Joe Doing damn near exhausted. Uh, Doing will, um... His contract's coming up. And uh, just felt like we needed to have kind of one last hurrah with him. Uh, unfortunately, you know, just as far as age has caught up to him now. And he's not performing as high as he once was. We're just going to... I think we're going to have him be on a handshake deal. We're going to send him to GCW to help uh, be the kind of veteran voice of that locker room to help out those guys and uh, you know maybe help help some people along the way because now it, it's just kind of we're not really needing him anymore. So, fortunately, there goes Brody King. We probably should have had... Or Brody King. We should have had Brody King probably in this matchup instead of Joe Doring, but went with Doring instead to, to use him one last time. Cody Yumeida and Kota Ibushi is Yumeida with a great matchup with uh, Kota Ibushi, 87 for him. Fisherman Buster, 26-12, nice win for Dynamite, or Dynamite, Diamond K, as uh, they will have now three people in the second round, or actually four people, excuse me. Yeah, they'll have uh, everybody that was involved in Diamond K in this tournament is going on to the next round, so that's just a great showing for them. 82 for uh, the Great Okan and Will Hobbs. This Hobbs with the order of business beating the Great Okan 2355. Not a great rating for the Great Okan. The 64. Sonata beating Brody Lee, rounding body press in uh, 2019. As far as uh, trying to think of a great counter for Sonata out of the Brody Bomb. Because I don't think a. I mean, he could probably hit a Rana. I want something that's a little bit more devastating. Really, the only thing out of a counter you could do that's kind of like a great, like, devastating counter is probably a DDT out of that, but... It's, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nice win, though. That's far as, uh, Brody, I mean, listen. We just saw, uh, you know, as far as Doring did way worse. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely... Definitely up there. As far as, uh, one of the guys that have obviously fallen... From Grace, but hey, he had a great run with us. We were able to do a lot of stuff with him. As Tamora, beating Claudio Castagnoli with a jackhammer. And 24-25, sucks, that's only a se uh, 81, rather. Claudio with a 67-76 for Tamora. He goes on to the next round. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we knew it. We knew that opening contest was going to be the best thing on the card. Uh, even Hobbs and Okan did better than the main event, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, as far as uh, on to day we go for the rest of the second round matches. Alrighty, night five. So yeah, this is, um, we will be having uh, all the participants on this night competing. So no break for 
uh, you know, as far as Yumeida and Hobbs and Sombra and Shatora Shino, which Shino will definitely get a benefit of one after having a, a tremendous match with Ray Phoenix. He's going to go right back and take on somebody like La Sombra. That is going to be a hell of a matchup. So, it's, I mean, we got some great matches here in the second round. All these could be a main event. Uh, Nakamura and Takeshita is a match I really love. Don't think we've done it yet. Oh, no, we did. Uh, it was in the G1. It was in 94 then. And then, oh, yeah, they had the uh, UWFI match. Which Nakamura won. So they were 1-1 one one going into this match. And all of them have been in the 90s. So that's a safe bet to be a great main event. Jay White and Tyler Black is going to be the Tactical Masterclass matchup. As uh, Tyler Black will be winning. So he'll be going on to the next round. Sombra and Ashina will probably be the co-main. As Sombra will beat Ashina. What a win. Somebody like Shatoru Shino, that is a huge win, first time meeting, as far as, uh, when, we've had a Shino win the, uh, New Japan Cup, yeah, yeah, so, beat the former winner, wore the Sombra as well, I think a Shino's even won the G1 too, yeah, yeah, boy, I, I think he's won all of them, but the King of Pro Wrestling, so, as far as a Shino, if he could do that, he would basically have almost every, uh, type of major achievement, he obviously hasn't won the IWGP, oh no, he's, uh, been the heavyweight champion, I was thinking he wasn't. Yeah, he's won the uh, heavyweight title. He's been Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, he's been never heavyweight champion, too. He's uh, pretty much done it all in just uh, this save, obviously. i say he's been a tag champ, too. Wasn't a U.S. champ. Uh, I think he, he hasn't been a New Japan Strong Champion, either. I thought he was, but no, he hasn't been. Uh, they, they, he's won a tag league. He's won, won it twice. God damn. What a run. What a run. As uh, Katsuka Nakajima, Ryu Lee can go here. As Ryu Lee's going to beat Nakajima in 21 minutes. He made in Will Hobbs. It's Will Hobbs. We'll be beating Cody Yamada. Basically, uh, you know, as far as Yamada, maybe potentially going to the top rope for a big time move. And Hobbs catches him, spine busters him basically through the ring. And that's all she wrote. You know, pins him. And it's uh, basically just a kind of a flash fall, a flash pinfall like that where. It's just a big move kind of out of nowhere. And Roosh and Kenta as Roosh will beat him. They've had uh, one match, yes. Kenta beat him during the King of Wrestling Tournament last year. Which was a 95 then. My God, should be a pretty great matchup. It's unfortunate that Kenta's got the chronic upper back pain going on right now. Because that would probably be a hell of a match. So I think we're going to swap this out. Swap that out. Actually, swap that. It's all of a show. It's going to be really, really good. This will be uh, ran in Osaka Joe Hall. I think that's for the best. I think that's a hell of a show. And basically now, as far as we can look at um, the third round here with this. So the third round matches are as followed. Sonata versus Ayata Tamar. Ryu Lee versus Arush. That's a fun match, obviously, with their relationship as far as... Uh, being, uh, you know, as far as being actually, uh, fucking, uh, you know, some incredible performers. As, uh, for also Kanosuke Takeshi and Tyler Black, which is a hell of a match. Sombra and Will Hobbs as well to be the fourth and final, uh, quarterfinal matchup. Then we'll obviously be on to the semifinals and then the finals. But as far as, uh, Rush and Ryu Lee, I'm trying to think. I thought we did this for Fantastic Mania. Uh, let's go with all years. Thought we did. Let's see if I am correct. Yeah. Back in 2026 20, last year. So, yeah, that was, yeah, of course, CMLL World Middleweight title matchup, which that was a 96. Should be a banger. Should be a banger. That's not every, uh, not every day you get to see great performers like that battling it out. As, um, yeah, we're good to go. Let's run it. Jay White and Tyler Black's an 85. Pretty close. Tyler Black gets the one with the curb stump. Got to show up the strong start. Here in Osaka, Joe Hall, an 81. For Nakajima and Ryu Lee. But, uh, he gets the one with the Rodilla Dragon. So, down goes another uh, Diamond K member. For Nakajima, as far as going down. Hobbs beats Yumeida. So, back-to-back -back losses for Diamond K members. But, well, Hobbs going on to the next round. So he will be uh, and Rush beating Kenta. As yeah, the uh, the Lalanza, they have great chemistry. 
So even with his chronic upper back pain, he is still an incredible performer. Unreal, what a win for Rush, and then a 93 for Sombra and Ashino. It's a split leg of Corkscrew Sinton from Sombra, 2640. So a member of LIJ going on to the next round, and then Nakamura losing to Konosuke to catch this wall to catch them. That's actually one of the worst matches on the show. It's hard to believe, uh, seeing as how that's a pretty great show. But yeah, 93s, 92s, we'll gladly take that. Now on to the quarterfinal matchups here for day six. Then we'll be on to the uh, semifinals for day seven. Before you know it, we'll be at the finals, just like that. As uh, yeah, on to the next day we go. Alrighty, so um, as far as for day six, obviously, we have basically the rest of the quarterfinals and some of the semifinal matches, actually. So uh, as far as with that being said, uh, we'll go ahead... Backstage incidents, a lot of them. Tomori Ishii passing on microphone work to Tomoya Tom Ford and Hiromu Takahashi passing on psychology to Ichiharu Machizuki. And then Chono passing on psychology to Kumamea and microphone work to Shonen Shozaki. So, uh, we'll go ahead and add Tyler Black and uh, Kodosuke to catch that, which for some reason we didn't pick a winner for that. We'll just go ahead. And uh, Konosuke Takeshita will win it. It's, it's going to be a hell of a match, though, between those two. A uh, match that uh, happened at Power Struggle for the heavyweight title. And hard to believe, of course, at Autumn Attack, Tyler Black beat Konosuke Takeshita thanks to some interference as well. So with this win, and, you know, uh, Tyler Black beat him in the G1, which was a 99. Um, all those, you know, happening in 2026. So the first match of 2027 sees Konosuke Takeshita get the win. And so, so that's going to be huge. I'll tell the Blacks going to complain about it. Sombra in uh, Will Hobbs as La Sombra will be beating Will Hobbs. Huge win for him. I believe it's his first time meeting in the save. Yep. So we'll see how that plays out. Of course, brothers, as far as Riley and Roosh battling it out. With Riley getting the win over Roosh. And then Sonata and Hayato Tamara, which will go over the 30-minute mark. Uh, basically, with all of the... Uh, we'll go ahead and bring this up. So far as uh, all the quarterfinal matches, I was thinking that there was going to be a, sem uh, be a semifinal matchup, but no, that's obviously the next night. As um, for basically the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and of course the finals, you know, the finals has no time limit. Semifinals and quarterfinals, they have a 60 minute time limit, hence why we're able to go over 30. As, um, yeah, I mean, this is uh, basically coming down to the final four. Kind of funny to see uh, Riley and Sombra kind of down here, and then Konosuke to catch the hand of tomorrow up here. It's kind of the tale of, you know, as far as, of course, this was a Wrestle Kingdom main event not too long ago, you know, as far as Hayato tomorrow and Konosuke to catch that. And then Riley and, and Sombra, of course, um, former CMLL greats. Uh, obviously, Sombra had a lot more success at CMLL than Dragon Lee did, but still, uh, it's very, very cool. To see that they're on the uh, kind of... We could see a potential Wrestle Kingdom rematch finals. We could see two uh, of the best luchadors on the planet. As far as at least in the save. Uh, with Ryo Lee and, and La Sombra battling it out. Uh, as far as to be the uh, the first uh, Hispanic uh, New Japan Cup winner. By far. As far as if uh, Ryo Lee and Sombra make it to the finals. and uh, Or we could see Tamora Sombra. Could see Tam um, Ryo Lee and Konosuke the Ketchum. There's a lot of different variables. As far as that final four, which we'll be seeing obviously very shortly, but yeah, Tamora Sonata will be the main. Konosuke the catch and Tyler Black's the co-main. We'll probably swap this out. I think Riley and Roosh will be a better match than Sombra and Will Hobbs, but as you can see, some uh, some great matches there. And uh, now obviously we'll be adding we'll have to add a Steal the Show matchup and a technical master class matchup. So uh, we will have as far as a women's uh, title matchup with, uh, as far as, I don't think we can, well, we can borrow her, uh, as far as Himeka Areta, Arita, rather, as far as I don't know what to say, Areta, but she will be taking on, uh, Kai, uh, Kairi Hojo as the, uh, in, in the women's title matchup that's gonna be happening on the New Japan Cup final show. Uh, we've just built that up a little bit on the strong taping that just happened the day before, so we won't be using them here, but I just wanted to talk about that real quick. We're also, I forgot to talk about this, Steel Cage matchup uh, for the U.S. title. Calvin Tankman challenging Juice Robinson in that one. 
So that's going to be a, a fun matchup as well. We've built that up a little bit, but I think we can build it up a little bit more as well tonight. So we'll go ahead and do that. Brody Lee and Callum Tankman versus Juice and Coughlin. I think that's a great matchup here. Obviously a, a first round matchup earlier in, uh, in Coughlin and Brody, which Coughlin lost. But uh, we'll have Coughlin get his win back here. And a nice win for the, actually, let's have it be Juice. Kind of like that a little bit more. Juice pinning Tankman, or pinning Tankman's partner. So there's that. Then the Tactical Masterclass matchup. Now that is a good call. Um, what we're basically going to have as well is a United Empire versus United Empire exhibition match. That's happening on the final uh, show of the New Japan Cup. Because at Sakura Genesis... Gonna get the rematch from Dominion last year with uh, Makabe and Gresham taking on the champions in uh, Zack Sabre Jr. and Volter. So we'll do a little trios match here. Makabe, Gresham. Um, I'm trying to think who we'll use. Maybe Gulak. Yeah, maybe Drew would probably make the most sense for that. And uh, taking on, obviously, you know, Volter and Zack Sabre Jr. Obviously, Volter and Moriarty. <laughs> Little team that we've built. Oh, uh, we put True Gulak on the wrong side. There we go. And then Lay Moriarty. Perfect. Zack Sabre Jr. So this will be, of course, the Tactical Masterclass match. A pretty good show, actually. Obviously, no Young Lion matchups or anything like that on this show. Oh, well, Moriarty be Gulak. The 8 Man uh, will definitely see. Uh, we'll see. Probably. Lee Moriarty, and then maybe Okan, and then on this side, uh, maybe Alexander and Jarvis to make it a little bit more, have a little bit more heavyweight power onto it. Oh, wow, we actually went over the time. Um, trying to think what time we should cut out. Probably the Sombra Hobbs match, honestly. We'll just take away four minutes there, make it a 20 minute match. So, this, I mean, this would be a Kanto main, or a Kanto show for sure, but again, we've kind of used it. We need to, uh, we want to save that for the final show. At least we will try to. Yeah, we might as well. Uh, God, there's not even a great, I mean, we'd run an athletic stadium, but it'd be severely under capacity. As, um, so we've got day one, day two. Yeah, we basically ran almost everywhere. Oh, we haven't ran Hokuto. That'd be a nice place to run. Yeah, we'll run the uh, Ice Arena. Be a sellout. Yeah, for day six. And then for day seven, I'm not really sure what we'll run. We want it to be a big arena for sure and a big place because it's, you know, the semifinals going to be a big deal, but not sure yet. 87 for the opener as a Gresham, Maccabe. Everybody did pretty well, but Volter. Volter being the worst guy in the match because doesn't fit the technical master class, at least for how they made him. Because I, I think Falter would definitely be able to do a tactical masterclass matchup. But yeah, an 87. Great stuff here. Ooh, as uh, Brody gets hurt. Still a, a decent performance. He was really off his game, but Juice gets the win, though. The pulp friction. Calvin Dangman with an 85. Uh, that match is going to be pretty good. The uh, steel cage match between those two. That should be fun. 92 for Sombra and Hobbs. Brilliant driver. Over Will Ops. A tough break for Dark Order, but a great match, though. Samba going on to the semifinals. Riley beating Roosh as well. Great match there. In our co main event. Probably should have been the main. Konosuke Takeshita and Tyler Black as Takeshita beats Tyler Black with a touchdown in 26 19. Hell of a match. Great performance for Tyler Black. I performed Konosuke Takeshita. In our main event, 92. As uh, Hayato Tamura with the jackhammer win over Sonata. Tough break for the designer perfection leader. As uh, that's kind of crazy that we've had so, uh, a lot of um, that top half, you know, three out of the four guys lead their stable. And then the bottom two, you know, as far as the other quarterfinal matches, guys do not lead their stable. You know, hell, obviously stable mates and Riley and Roosh, so that's. Awesome as well. What a show. And obviously a, a great New Japan Cup day. Uh, all the matches but the Steelers show matchup did really well. And now uh, we'll see who will be going on the finals. We'll build up a little bit towards the final uh, show as well. We'll try to have 
triple talon tandem matchup against uh, as far as uh, the, the new champion as well as uh, I'm not sure exactly who we'll have as our partner because we on strong we'll just talk about it a little bit we had um, as far as with let's see what's, I thought we had development over here but not I guess we will have to go over here as Hameka we uh, we haven't figured out exactly what I want her to do on the main rosters. Why she's mainly in CMLL because she's great. We just don't know exactly what I want to do as far as putting her because obviously she's, she's got to join a group. Will she join? You know, as far as Queen's Quest, TCS, yeah, or even uh, Dona Del Mondo. That's uh, kind of the big question with that. Maybe, um, because the thing is, we have, um, Saya Kamatani, we signed, um, as far as Soroy, so Soroy will probably be joining them, because obviously her and Saya Kamatani are, are friends as far as that goes. Obviously, we won't be adding her to Triple Talon Tandem. Be interesting to have someone in Dragon's Den as a woman, that'd be kind of cool. Because obviously, yeah, we have, you know, as far as Dark Order, we have, of course, Statlander, part of them. But, um, yeah, just a, a kind of an idea to potentially add somebody to uh, one of the male-only groups. But, yeah, that's just kind of a wrap. But, yeah, that's uh, on to day seven we go. The semifinals, we'll see who will be making it on to the finals. Alrighty, so we find out the finals of the... New Japan Cup will also, uh, we'll go through what the actual final show will look like, as, uh, but first we have to, uh, run this show here, obviously, to get to that point, but, uh, Dragon's Den, and, uh, is taking on Samurai Do Sol and Demonic Bamba on the card, so that's obviously Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong, against Samurai Do Sol and Demonic Bamba, as O'Reilly's gonna beat Demonic Bamba here, obviously, you know, Hi Ada Tamora and Ryu Lee happening on the court. I felt like that was a good little uh, underneath matchup. Same thing for this uh, LIJ matchup of Shingo and Bushi versus Katsuhiko Nakajima and Keito Crusher. And Shingo will be beating Katsuhiko Nakajima in 10 minutes. Should be a uh, good little matchup there. So now, um, also, Yoshiashi's last match. His contract's coming up. Really don't feel like we need to re-sign him. Sure, he's uh, obviously been here forever, uh, but, you know, at 44, he's had many problems. <laughs> as uh, His stats are not too bad, but I think it's just time for him to kind of go elsewhere. Let him work, uh, you know, in NOAA or in All Japan or just somewhere else instead of having him be stuck with us where we're not really going to use him for at least, a, you know, as far as... Because, yeah, I mean, he, he's been with New Japan since 2008, kind of crazy um yeah i think it's just definitely more time for uh for him to, to just work elsewhere but jay white will be beating yoshiashi there in 10 minutes we're not gonna have like a farewell send off to him or anything it's not like he's gonna retire he's just leaving so uh just felt like that was for the best there to put that kind of in the middle part of the card in the uh, opening contest as far as kushida and yua koraku which kushida will win in 10 minutes We'll see how that plays out. So our semifinals. Konosuke Takeshita, La Sombra. Takeshita will beat La Sombra. So that it will be one half of the finals. The other half, as far as out of Tamara and Riley, which I think we'll have that be the co-main, which Tamara will win. So as far as our finals are set, it is Ayata Tamara versus Konosuke Takeshita, a Wrestle Kingdom main event rematch. And uh, for this 2027 New Japan Cup, of course, winner will take on Hiromu Takahashi at Sakura Genesis, but also the loser will take on Pac for the Intercontinental title at Sakura Genesis. So at least uh, somebody will get something out of this, no matter what happens. But obviously, everyone wants that heavyweight title matchup, as uh, you know, which tomorrow we'll be getting the victory there. Wow, we uh, we'll probably have to uh, actually cut away some time. That's kind of crazy. Didn't think that would happen. But, uh, yeah, a little cut. Yeah, we'll put it down to 2.30. Alrighty. Uh, so we'll pick a venue. I'm trying to think where we should run. 
Now it says we've ran basically everywhere. I'd be about 10,000 shy. But I think we're going to have to do it. Now we ran here day one. It'd be kind of nice to run the final kind of day before we get into the actual finals. Feel like that'd be a nice completion of that. And plus it'd be a sellout too. So that's nice. So the uh, final show, as far as uh, we'll bring it up here, looks like this. Oh, we forgot to edit this matchup. Let's go ahead and get this over. Because I was going to have the Gory Bastards have a tag match, but I changed it. Go ahead. There we go, as that's now going to be Cody Maiden, Kenta versus Roger Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. So yeah, New Japan Cup Finals. Now to tomorrow, we're just going to ask you to catch the main event. Go main event, U.S. title matchup in a steel cage. Calvin Tangman versus Juice Robinson. Also, Junior Everweight title matchup as Daichi Ashimoto takes on Chaz Gable. Women's title matchup, Kairi Ojo versus Emeka Arita. Designs of Perfection versus The Bomb Squad in a trios match. It's going to be Sonata and uh, the Velocities versus basically what was Mexa Blood. So, um, Ryu Lee, Samurai Del Sol, and Demonic Bomba. United Empire versus United Empire. Exhibition 8-man tag to build up to you know the tag match between Magma and Gresham uh, versus Zack Sabre Jr. and Volter. It's the tag team titles. It's happening against Dr. Rod Genesis. Uh, the United Empire team that will have the champions, you know, Zack Sabre Jr. and Volter. It's going to be them. Lee Moriarty and the Great O'Conn versus Makabe, Gresham, Corey Jarvis, and Josh Alexander. Since the main event, we're having a, you know, Dragon's Den versus Diamond K matchup. Felt like the undercard, we needed something like that. So, you made it in Kenta versus Roddy and Kyle O'Reilly. Then, uh, Suneo Takedome's third trial series matchup. He's taking on Shota Umino in that matchup. So, uh, what a, uh, interesting way to start off the show with the shooter. And, a, uh, you know, as far as in the Suneo Takedome's trial series matchup. He's got uh, just four more to go. He's getting, you know, more and more experience throughout the way, but somebody younger, uh, somebody that is uh, wanting to take that next step in uh, New Japan. Oh, oh, shooter. We'll see how he does in Suneo Takedome. So that will be that card. We're just going to run that show. We're not going to, like, show the booking or anything like that. It's just, it, it's, uh, you know, you guys have seen what the card is going to be now you don't really need a, a big surprise on who, who's going to win it's much easier to just run the show as uh, as is as far as that uh, perspective but yeah we'll, we'll run the uh the, this show here now so 54 oh they don't have any chemistry uh, so lucky that this was even a 54 as kushida with the midnight express in 1007 an 80 for tra uh for dragon's den of kyle o'reilly and roger strong against samurai del sol and demonic bamba as o'reilly beating Demonic Mamba with a Brain Buster. It's a big win there. As far as Roddy and uh, Kyle O'Reilly picking up the victory. They were the better team. That's so really no surprise. It's a 76 for Los Angeles de Day of Fun versus Diamond Gay. It's Kato Crusher and Katsuka Nakajima actually did pretty well. It's still crazy that Bushi was an 81, but shout out uh, Nakajima with an 81 as well. It's a good little match. Uh, Shingo pinning uh, Katsuka Nakajima at the last of the Dragon, now. Big victory for him. 71 for Jay White and Miro versus Kazuchika Okada and Yoshihashi. It's Blade Runner from Jay White in 10.05. So yeah, Yoshihashi, it's for the best. And to uh, seek employment elsewhere in 87 for our co-main event. Riley did not perform me out of tomorrow. He doesn't pick up the victory, though. And it's a lack of psychology as well, but the Jackhammer victory... For you out of tomorrow, 24-36. And then our main event, a 94. Both guys in the 90s. Hell of a matchup here. It's to catch that defeats La Sombra in 33-14. Via submission with the wall of Takeshita. What a win. What a match. An absolute banger. For sure. I actually think we're going to change um, the trios match. Now I'm thinking about it. The uh, Designs of Perfection versus the Bomb Squad. I think it'd be better to have an LIJ Bomb Squad match since we could have had Sombra and Riley potentially, you know, in the finals. Felt like that's a fun way to see that matchup at some point, you know, as far as it, it's not a singles matchup, but it'd be a trios match. So it'd be uh, Riley, Samurai Do Sol, Demonic Bomba, then Sombra, Bushi, probably Shingo. That, that'd probably be the trio. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. 
That, that seems like a better matchup anyway. So yeah, well, uh, well, maybe not a better matchup. Sombra will do well. I don't know if the velocities they'll probably would have outperformed Dushi and Shingo, but yeah, I think that will be a, a nice change. So we're changing that match. So that's a uh, just a, a quick change off of that. But yeah, we'll put over our uh, you know main event, and uh, we'll also put over Takashi as well. Oh no, we already have Takashi. Yeah, we'll put over uh, Ryu Lee rather since he did really really good in his matchup. There we go. On to the finals, we go. Alrighty, so the New Japan Cup of 2027 here in the Tokyo Dome. Not a sellout, but pretty close. 40,000 on hand for it as Shoji Umino beats Suneo Takinam the Death Rider again. Crazy that a young lion is almost performing as well as somebody like Shoji Umino is. He's gonna be real good. <laughs> He's gonna be real, real good. A 79. For Kenta and Cody Maida versus Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong. So we see Diamond K get the win here. Will they win in the main event? We shall see. As Kenta with the win with the Kenta combo into the Busaigo knee. Obviously the best guy of the match. Uh, yeah, you know, obviously we had to have a Steal the Show match. I felt like this was kind of the best case scenario for it to be a Steal the Show matchup. Which might not have been the, the right call. But, you know, Kenta did well. You made it do well. We'll take it. He will take it. 86 for the, the uh, United Empire, United Empire exhibition matchup as the, uh, the Great Okan getting the submission victory over Corey Jarvis. At least Okan here did well. Uh, you know, much better than he did in his tournament matchup. Uh, 72, but still not great. Uh, Falter and Zach Jr. with the, uh, the great performances. 91, 93 for both guys. Gresham with an 85. Makabe with a 73. I was just kind of crazy. Um, him only having a 73. Yeah, good stuff. Good good stuff there. Jarvis in the 50s, too. That's actually a pretty good match. 97, wow. From uh, Los Ingobernables de Apon versus Bomb Squad. So, Ryu Lee, Samurai Del Sol, and Demonic Mamba getting the win as uh, Samurai Del Sol with the Del Sol driver of Ibushi. Man, what a match. Crazy. Um, Just a... I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, Samurai Del Sol, seven points better than Bushi. It's still crazy he's in the 80s. Demonic Bomba, four points better than Shingo. And then, obviously, Ryu Lee and Sombra doing exactly the same. What a uh, New Japan Cup Finals that would have been, though, between Sombra and uh, Ryu Lee. Jesus Christ. That would have been insane. But what a matchup there. As far as the trios match. So, we have a new women's champion in Kairi Hojo getting the one with a spear. Thanks to also interference from Io Shirai. So, Io, not uh, still... Not feeling so great about losing to Emeka Arita in that four-way matchup. And uh, is the the winner and the new champion is Kairi Ojo. We could have just had Io have a rematch with Emeka Arita since it was a four-way. We could you know have it be a singles matchup. But I feel like this was a fun idea. You know, we just had Kairi Ojo get a, a big singles victory as far as beating, uh, you know, as far as getting a, a huge singles win over Ashley Flair. And it seemed like maybe potentially she could have some momentum to be a future women's champion. Made sense to just do it now. And uh, so we have Kairi Ojo as the new women's champ. And I'm also kind of playing the, the vengeful person for Io Shirai. You know, as far as getting that win for her. So back, the women's title is uh, in their, the triple talent tandem group. As a 91 for the junior boy title matchup. Hell of a matchup here. Chaz Gable missing, uh, making his third defense, getting the one with the Grand Amplitude in 25-26. Good stuff. Good stuff there. What a junior heavyweight title matchup. It's our co-main event. Wow. They don't click, and they hated the ending. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we had Juice get the win uh, as far as um, having the... Um, he planted a... Uh, a boot, or not a boot, inside his boot, a steel uh, metal kind of railroad spike clanked it over Tank and busted them open. Drops him with a uh, pulp friction after that as well. So a terrible finish because of the, uh, you know, underhanded tactics, but it's a non-DQ matchup, so I figured it was going to be okay. That was not the case. Plus, they didn't click either. But another successful defense for Juice Robinson. That's his, uh, actually his first defense. That's right, he had beaten 
obviously will helps for the US title. And our main event is a 88 Hayato Tamora avenges his Wrestle Kingdom loss and wins the New Japan Cup for the first time in his career, beating Konosuke to catch in the main event in 32 32 with the Jackhammer. What a victory! And uh, afterwards, we have the post show press conference from him and Danielson. As far as uh, you know, Brian Danielson saying how uh, Tamora's trained so hard to come back to the top of the mountain. Uh, you know, as far as being the heavyweight champion once again, and he's going to drive that little, you know, that little nerd, <laughs> that goofy little nerd, and her own Takashi through the mat. And Tamora, you know, says you know tonight he felt like he wasn't even going to break a sweat. And beating someone like Konosuke the catch and avenging his loss, sure, that, that motivated him a lot, but he's got his eyes on the prize, and that being the IWGP heavyweight title. But Tamora, looking looking like his uh, former heavyweight champion self with that victory. We'll see if he'll beat Hiromu at Sakura Genesis. And also Konosuke the catch though. Him and Pac, that's going to be a crazy match as well on that card. And uh, we have a I rate Juice Robinson as far as he and he's not focusing his t attention in this this post show press conference on uh, you know the dark order. No, it's on Tanahashi. As far as who else is you know Tanahashi's trying to stack the deck. It's put him in the steel cage, but he's outsmarted the old man. Didn't think he was gonna bring you know uh, you know as far as this you know he shows the metal spike that's got blood all over it and just as far as. He'll do whatever he, it, it, it you know it takes to keep this U.S. title. There's no war. Uh, there's no rules in, in combat as far as with for him. Sure, you know peace, love, and war. It's there's there's uh, you know different stages of it. First peace, then love, and now war. And he he's in the stage of war for this U.S. title. It it's basically you know he, he shouts at the Tanashi that he he's gonna have to find someone that's gonna kill him. To get this U.S. title off of him, so a very fired up Juice Robinson is uh, just uh, you know, right, the emotions are running high. A a battered Juice Robinson who, who survived a cage match against Tankman, who's beaten Will Hobbs. Now, thanks to the interference, though, but he's you see that the kind of trend has been he's one with kind of maybe underhanded tactics, so maybe we'll see if at Sakura Genesis if he has a title matchup or. If Tanahashi will not put him in the title matchup as far as maybe potentially we'll see him try to handcuff that away from Juice. In our uh, po final post-show press conference, it starts off as friendly banter with the United Empire saying, you know, we're going to find out what the best team, uh, you know, who the best team will be out of the United Empire. We found out you know, once it was us as far as for Sexy Virginia and Volter. And Volter just kind of chuck it, chuckles a little bit and just says, yeah, it's going to be us again. The Makabe and Gresham are like, ah, oh, no, the, you guys got lucky, type of thing. And Falter kind of, you know, just, you know, he calls Gresham, you know, some, some not very nice names as far as, you know, referencing his height. Just kind of a little man, you know, what are you going to do about it? And they just, they end into a shoving matchup. It gets a little heated. You know, tempers are flaring here as far as, uh, yeah, I think Jonathan Gresham and Daniel Makabe kind of feel like they're, the, the little brother of uh, Volter and Zack Sabre Jr. as far as everyone's looking at them as the, the best tag team, obviously being the heavyweight champions and beating them once before. Maybe they'll have a bit of a chip on their shoulder to, to see that they can beat them and prove that they belong in the you know in that same category as Volter and Zack Sabre Jr. Come Sakura Genesis. So that, that was that press conference. And that is that show. Uh, the New Japan Cup. At least the finals did well. Uh, the the co-main event, obviously, the, the finish, they hated it, but I'm cool with doing it how we did it. You know, sure, it, it was not a great rating, but overall, the show itself, with an 89, we'll, we'll take it. Uh, it's crazy the Junior Boy title matchup did better than the New Japan Cup finals. Uh, that's, uh, I mean, that shows you how great those guys are. So we'll, we'll put over Chaz Gable and Hashimoto, to be honest. They deserve it for the type of matchup they had. They did great. And uh, we'll give Kyrie Ojo a hug as well. Being the new women's champ. So that will do it. For the New Japan Cup episode. And uh, the Sakura Genesis tour, of course. Very, very short. And uh, we all already have a majority of the matches you know, lined up, it feels like. You know, we have the U.S. title. Potential matchup with Juice. You know, as far as he's been 
picking at Tanahashi a lot as of late, so maybe Tanahashi will put him in another title matchup, or, you know, he'll be uh, able to heal and, and lick his wounds and, and recover for his next battle. Obviously, the heavyweight title matchup between Tamora and Hiromu, also the Kato title matchup with Pac, and... Gonosuke the catch down, which is probably going to be better than the main event, the way it seems to be. So what's this uh, decision? Also, we're bringing back Karistico. He's not going to be on the main show, but he'll be in CMLL. Tough, tough ditty. You're going down there. As, uh, yeah, for Sakura Genesis, big tag team title matchup as well. United Empire versus United Empire. Should be a hell of a show. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll have uh, never hope way title matchup with Okada, who has been on a bit of a tear as of late as the never, never hope way champion. And we'll see. You know, he wants Tanahashi to find him the toughest and strongest competitors. So we'll see what Tanahashi has up his sleeve for that. And I'm sure we'll have a junior every tag team title matchup. And so much more, as we will catch you guys next time for Sakura Genesis. Take care, everyone.